Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Talking Balls. If you watch James's, he didn't say episode of Talking Balls. Didn't I? No, which Sorry. is a disgrace, because last time I forgot to say it, I got told off. So, guys, today we are talking the new... Well, it's not out here, it's is not, it? It's not new, it's old. Like it's a... old, really. It's a tour response. But they have now come out with different colours. Unfortunately, we can't get them at the moment in the UK. I think they came out the same time as the normal one. Yeah, but it's again, it's the US always gets better They always stuff. get the best stuff, don't they? We never... Yeah. Like, these were on a jar in the pro shop. Whereas we have never seen them. So, again, different colours, guys. You'll know with the original tour response, it was a kind of a lime green, would we yeah. say? Again, a colour that not everybody liked, so people would consider not using it because they could see it was obvious that they was using that. Again, people might use them because of a favourite football team. Be something James would do for Manchester United. That's why I picked the red one out earlier on. You get a Chelsea blue, did you? Ends up with Chelsea Blue or Sheffield Wednesday, which is probably even worse. Yeah, we don't want that. Do I, do we? I do apologise to any Sheffield Wednesday fans, but not really. Right, but we're talking the Golf Ball. It's a three-piece Golf Ball, guys. It's comparable to the Pro V1, but it's a ball that's obviously underrated because it's not TaylorMade's premium Golf Ball. Yeah, it's still three-piece. It's still Eurothene, so it still performs very well, but not. I mean, does it perform as well as a TP5? For a lot of people, it probably would do. Yeah, and obviously you're going to save a little bit of money. But what we're trying to do, guys, today is show, obviously, how it is great for practice, how it is good for feedback. Again, on the golf course, you can start to break down why you might have hit a chip out to the right, why you might have sliced a driver. Again, we can use it, line it up, especially now even off the tee or in the fairways whilst it's placing. But even around the edge of the green, we can start to see if we're cutting across the ball. A lot of people cut across the golf ball, we start to see that ball wouldn't fly and it wouldn't roll end over end. The spin axis would lose equal equilibrium. Correct, James is throwing the words at us today. So we're going to have a little bit of a chipping challenge. We're going to go into the bunker, then we're going to show how it's good for your putting and what we would start to see. And again, it's a golf ball that you might get through the winter to practice with and start to use in the season. So 56 degree here, nice straightforward chip shot. Oh, look at that. And we can see... Wow. A fantastic roll there. If the camera lady or camera person that we have to call her did get that, you'll see that was a very neutral spin. So club face was square, path was square. It matched up nicely. Plenty of spin on there. Let's see if James can do the same. And he has. That was. Uh, it looks so visually pleasing in the eye. I hope you guys can see this on the camera because that looked absolutely awesome. Yeah, so you get feedback straight away. So for me and James there, both know that, right, OK, we're squaring everything up. We're doing it well. I think I've won there and gone one up. That's why James has gone. Um, but good for feedback. You can start to work out why you might be mishitting your chips. If you start to see it spinning to the right, we know that you're cutting across. That's why we might know your direction's a little bit off because your face and path aren't matching up. And that's a big thing when we get to bunkers. James is playing or has played very well out of the bunkers all year. So we're going to go there now. Let's do it. Okay, so in bunkers, a lot of the time people are taught to cut across the ball. The old-fashioned way of teaching was to wide open stance, wasn't yep, it? Yeah, scythe across it. Scythe across it, take all the speed out. That's going to get the ball spinning with slice spin as such. That's going to then spin the ball to the right when it lands on the green. A great example here, we can line this golf ball up when we're practicing in the bunker. James has drawn two lines. We're actually trying to get a nice neutral path and a neutral face. That'll just put pure backspin on. Do you know how to put that picture on screen for them? The one we've just taken. Yeah. I can put the picture that we have just taken on screen because I am a bit of a wizard at editing. So James gonna try and get nice and neutral here. I don't need to tell him anything because he has been a thousand times better than me. I feel like me. you're bigging me up here for failure. Well, he's been a thousand times better than me out of bunkers this year. Very consistent and it lives on. If you see the spin on that was absolutely perfect. Interesting how though the divot or the, the movement through the sand still went a tiny bit left. Yep. So we went around the arc, but because the handle was lower and the club face was pointing towards the target, it came out bang straight with a nice neutral axis. A fantastic shot from young Hames. Over oh, the bags as well. A lot to follow here. But a man of my calibre, even with a Chelsea golf ball. It's actually a bit shorter than you think, Chris. It's about 10 feet, that. Right. So let's see what we can do. 56, was that a 56, James? Was 56, mate, yeah. There you go, James is learning. 60 would have been nowhere near. No. Oh. No way! I think that takes the lead. That's a nice neutral thing. I went, there is no way you I, can claim that. I went through the legs of the bag there. You could see I took a different line. I went nice and low. And uh, took the kick to go two up in the World Series. Again, that guys. That is disgusting. 
you can see there was neutral Sorry, spin. Sorry, do you want to rate that after I just raked it? <laughs> there was neutral spin on the golf ball, but I did just catch a little bit early in the sand. So around about an inch too early there, it still came out dead straight. Duffed it. With neutral Duffed spin. Duffed it. Used the down slope. Duffed it. And ran it past James. That's two up. Right, so after that cataclysmic error by Chris, somehow he's two up. Don't know how. I do. But if you do want to know how to get out of bunkers every single time, check out Get Good at Golf because in fairness, that's the lesser of the two evils, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. A little bit fat, caught the sand a little bit early, but still gets out there and towards the target. We call it a good bad one. Look at that. I know it's long, but do you see the... Nice. You probably didn't see it, but... So remember, you're not going to be able to do this when you play golf, but generally you can do it when you're practicing. It does help you understand spin axis, how to deliver the club nice and square with a square swing path. He's going yeah. to beat me 3-0 here. And it's a bit of feel and real, so a lot of people don't know what's happening, so they'll think they're cutting across it. They might be actually working the club the other way, so a lot of people don't know yeah. what exactly they're doing. So this golf ball gives you that feedback straight away. I don't need... There's not much to beat here, really. Go on. Release. Oh, that's a great shot. And that, we're, not, my friend, we're done. Well done. It's well 3 0, guys. But we're going to go back to the tee. We're going to show you how you can align this and what you can do off the Nearest tee box. Nearest the pin takes all. Nearest the pin can get him an extra point, but he still lost. So back to the tee we go. You nearly hold it last time. Okay, guys. So off the tee here, James is going to do a great example as it chucks it down on us. So James has aligned this, but when you're aligning the golf ball, you make sure it is on your start line, not where you want it to end. We're trying it this dead straight, Chris. Dead straight down the middle. Like that. That has done exactly what he wanted. So he's used it for his start line. He's hit it straight down the middle, guys. And as it is coming in sideways, that has been the tailor-made tour response. And the, the tea lives on. The tea lives on, and we'll see you again tomorrow.